Hello tea friends, here we are again recording a new video. Uh, recently we finished our last stock of 2015 Liu Bao and uh, it was a really good tea with clean sweet taste and uh, beautiful complexity but as everything in this world especially HTs it came to an end it got all sold out people are drinking it and uh, there is a limited uh, supply of course uh, so this tea came to an end so our friend sent us two samples uh, coming from the same source uh, of 2005 Lubao and 2021 and uh, me and Chris we tasted them yesterday side by side and we decided on 2021 Lubao even though it's a younger, uh, younger Heicha. And uh, today uh, I'm gonna drink this tea on camera and uh, I'm gonna going to dissect uh, the notes that I'm picking from this tea. Uh, so you can understand why I chose me, why we chose the 2021 Lubao. And uh, yesterday we drank it of course from porcelain uh, in order to establish uh, the true taste uh, of tea, the unaltered, unaffected by clay. But uh, since I already kind of know what I'm drinking, I'm going to be using uh, Zini teapot, 80 milliliter teapot. I'm going to be drinking it from a uh, silver plated uh, teacup. Uh, I chose a uh, silver teacup because silver just like porcelain uh, gives unaltered taste it gives like a clean taste of of tea and uh, it just feels good and it's also 80 milliliter cup so the brew fit from the teapot fits perfectly into this cup um, so these are my choices we're going to be using uh, 1 to 20 ratio 1 gram of tea to 20 milliliter water ratio so uh, four grams for for this teapot for this uh, 80 milliliter teapot so let's pre-warm our teaware preheat it prepare it for the tea and while the teapot is heating up The smell of the dry tea is slightly earthy with some spicy notes going on in the background but nothing like too strong. And while we are preheating the teacup we are going to place the tea. into our yishin to warm it up to see what it's gonna smell like Off straight from the lid I can feel the earthy mushrooms notes Also, I feel I pick mushroom notes from the body of the teapot as well as uh, dark chocolate, like uh, dark chocolate maybe with some spices notes. Gonna be using boiling water for this tea, but you can use a little bit uh, cooler water, like maybe two thousand five degrees will also should also work fine. 
The first tipping um, that we're going to treat as a rinse uh, is uh, quite bright. I don't know if you can see it, but it's uh, like a bright orange color. All right. And now we're ready to actually glue the tea. Right now, the earthy notes in the smell, in the aroma, are subdued. Uh, the predominant note right now is dark chocolate. Dark chocolate, some spices. I would characterize it as dark chocolate with sea salt. Beautiful aroma. I think aroma in this tea is really something. Now the color of the brew is much, much darker. I hope you can see. The tea soup is very clean, no cloudness in it. Uh, beautiful like ripe fruits notes uh, like like maybe some jam notes coming from the tea right now jam and dark chocolate this is what I would call it from the taste I pick up a pleasant earthiness uh, pleasant like uh, mushroom notes um, some leather some uh, woody notes some like uh, foresty notes as well has like a pleasant sourness sourness with the sweetness on the background so the reason why we chose the 2021 a younger Heisha over 2005 which is you know more aged and supposedly uh, has like a higher value uh, in some eyes uh, is because uh, this tea has more complexity, uh, has more different nodes going on comparing to the one of 2005. Uh, it has a more interesting like progression of taste. We really enjoyed the 2005 Hecha as well. However, it was a little bit like uh, one dimensional. So yeah, this one has mushrooms, has berries, has some fruit jam notes going on. And the aroma, the aroma of the tea being very special is very different from the taste. In the aroma, I pick up some ocean notes, uh, some dark chocolate notes that we don't feel uh, in the tea soup.
the aroma is really sublime. So let's get to the second brew. Let's not get greedy with the first one. So in Charjo, it is customary not to drink more than three brews. Three brews is when you're drinking Dansong Wulong, the traditional way. Uh, you, you make three steepings and that's it. This is the end of the tea session. But we're not in Charjo and this is not a Dansong. This is Liu Bao that can go on for many, many, many steepings. So it's better to pace yourself. So for Liu Bao, I prefer like medium long steepings. Not too short, not too long. The reason why I'm shaking the teapot body, the rocking it, uh, is to make sure that uh, inside of the teapot, the brew is distributed ev evenly. It's not layered. And the reason why I'm pouring from a little bit higher above is to aerate and cool off the brew a little bit. Because we don't want it like scorching hot. Let's give it a couple of seconds to cool off. Right now, the sweetness of this tea is getting more apparent. Mushroom notes are subduing. Blueberry notes are coming to front. The mouthfeel is pretty dense, um, like um, has a medium to full body, like probably leaning more towards like full, full body. Definitely full body, not, not even, yeah, definitely full. The mouth feels pretty dense and coating, yes. Pretty long mouth watering finish. Excellent tea. I like the 2015 Liu Bao that uh, we had before. And uh, even though it's coming from exactly the same makers, from exactly the same tea farm, uh, it's a very different tea from our 2015 Lubao, but um, I think I'm starting to like it more than our 2015 that they loved. On the last two sips just now, I uh, suddenly felt the ocean notes, the ocean uh, sea salt notes that I pick from the aroma but not from the taste. I love the complexity and the progression of this tea. Actually, let me use the water a little bit lower than boiling hot 
right now it's probably 2005 degrees somewhere around there the thing about Tetsubin first it conducts a uh, heat very well but uh, one once uh, the Tetsubin itself is hot uh, it retains heat pretty well also so the water doesn't cool off so easily in it dark chocolate jam sea salt ocean notes very pleasant sublime aroma the third stepping came out very mellow very rounded there are no notes that are prevailing over over other notes uh, the earthiness is pretty much subdued but once again as i said like nothing is prevailing or nothing is um, is gone they all just like blended together beautifully very around the taste pleasant sweetness pleasant sourness pleasant like tingly sensations in my tongue in terms of the state that this tea gives me um, I feel pretty like calm and grounded this tea doesn't agitate me this is like I would say this is Hecha as it's supposed to be I hope you guys gonna like it uh, if you tried our 2015 Lubao just be aware that uh, 2021 Lubao is uh, quite different uh, just you know like get a sample try it uh, see if it's up to your liking and uh, I hope you're gonna love it you're gonna enjoy it because I'm loving it this is probably the best Lubao we've had up to date very nice aroma very pleasant tea we'll see you in the next video cheers